I would go hunting down on the farm early in the morning. And that's a, that's a lot of woods out there in that farm. And you get to walking in them woods, and by the time that sun breaks, you have no idea where you are. You have no idea where you are. Begin to think about the, I believe it was the pastor who worked at Shoney's, right over here on Richmond Road. Richmond Road, and getting off late at night, having to walk home. Was that you? Was that Elder Mark? Somebody I recall saying they worked at Shoney's and got off late at night and had to walk down that long road back to the farm. Clown and Williamsburg. That's a long ways home. Late at night. Only light you got is the moon. And you all by yourself. My wife and I, we would go jogging at nighttime after we put the kids to bed. We would do that all during the summer. We would go jogging, make sure we're getting out exercising. Late at night, it's normally nobody out there. Not even barely any cars out there. Remember one night, we were out there running, and next thing you know, we heard barking. And we turned around and looked, and them dogs were staring right at us, and they started charging. My wife jumped up on me, and all I had was one of them police flashlights. And here she was, she grabbing on tight, almost choking me. I'm trying to look behind her, make sure that when the dogs come, I can fight off the dogs. But thanks be to God, it's like they just stood still. Like they just stood still, and there was like a fence. It was like an invisible fence where they couldn't come any closer. That was God. That was God. I think about the times where people go walking on the beach, walking through the sand. And, you know, in those different times where uh, people are walking, they never like to be alone. Whether it was the individual walking from Shoney's to the farm, whether it was myself going hunting early in the morning, well, there was me and Sister Talandi and the time when the dogs came charging. Whether well, it's you walking through the sand on the beach, you just don't like to be alone. Well, for a thought this morning that I'd like to leave with you all, footprints in the sand. Footprints in the the sand. Brother, Deacon, if you'd be so kind, turn with me to Micah, the sixth chapter. When you walk, you just don't like to be alone. You know, you go walking on the beach, it's all nice and peaceful and relaxing and romantic. You don't like going walking on the beach by yourself. You like to have your spouse there. So I'm talking about footprints in the sand. Brother, if you'd be so kind. Look at the, begin right there at the sixth verse. It says what? Wherewith shall I come before the Lord and bow myself before the high God? Wherewith shall I come before the Lord and bow myself before the high God? Shall what? Shall I come before him with burnt offerings, with Do calves I of a year old? Come before him with stale offerings that are no longer fresh, leftovers, already been used and tampered with? Will what? 
Will the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams or with ten thousands of rivers of oil? Is the Lord going to be pleased with the thousands of rams, ten thousands of rivers of oil? Shall I do what? Shall I give my firstborn for my transgression? Shall I give up my firstborn son for the transgression? My firstborn for my transgression. The what? The fruit of my body the for fruit the of, sin. The fruit of my body. That that has came from my body, should I give that in place of the sin of my body? And what did it say? For the sin of my soul. For the sin of my soul. What did it say? He hath showed thee, O he man. He showed thee. He showed thee. O man, woman, boy, girl. He what, showed thee. What? What is good. What is good. He showed you what is good. And what? And what doth the Lord require of thee? He not only showed you what was good, he also showed you what he requires of thee. And what is that? But to do justly. To do justly. And number to love one. Mercy. And to love mercy. To do justly and to love mercy. And what did it say? And to walk humbly with thy God. And to do what? And to walk humbly with thy God. And to walk humbly with thy God. It said walk humbly with thy God. It didn't say to walk away from God. It didn't say to walk against God. It didn't say to walk in front of God. It said to walk humbly, what? With thy God. To walk humbly with thy God. Whether it's in the morning while you hunting, whether if it's late at night while you walking home from work, whether it's late at night when you going jogging, whether it's while you on the beach taking a walk through the sand, it said to walk humbly, how? With thy God. To walk humbly with thy God. Turn to Psalms, the 37th chapter. Psalms 37 mm-hmm. and 28, it says what? Psalms 37 and 28 it says what? For the Lord loveth judgment. For the Lord loveth what? For the Lord loveth judgment. For the Lord loveth judgment and what? And forsaketh not his saints. And forsaketh not who? His saints. Forsaketh not what? His saints. We talked about that a bit on Friday night. That God only recognizes two classes of people. That is a saint and a sinner. There's no in-between when it comes down to God. 